I guess the two things would be for physicians mostly to think about it. It yeah, it's not so common, but uh, I actually see probably two or three new patients per week. So despite the fact that it's maybe not such a a common disorder worldwide, it's not impossible that you would see a patient that has this disorder, but if you're not thinking of it and you're not looking for it, you will not find it, right? It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So uh, I would say think about it because still in this time, I see people who have really suffered and have gone to a lot of different physicians for years and years and years, 10 years even more, without a diagnosis, and they, their quality of life has been impacted, both because it's uncomfortable, it itches, but cosmetically and socially, it's, it's um, something that makes people uh, uncomfortable being out in public sometimes and sharing their lives with other people. The other point would be to make sure that people understand that, that even at an advanced stage, we have a lot of different treatments now, and the outlook is a lot different than when I started doing this 30 plus years ago. So even patients that have advanced disease can, can expect to, for the most part, have their disease controlled for long periods of time. And that will be true more and more as we get more and more agents. So I'm, I'm always sad when someone hears that they have a lymphoma and they don't realize, particularly patients that have early stage disease, that their longevity isn't going to be impacted. And yet they've heard that word cancer and so they are impacted. Not their longevity, but the way they look at themselves has, has very much been impacted. And, um, and that's you know, so unfortunate.